What's up guys? It's Melody. Second video. This is going to be sipping wine and feeling fine. Melody, welcome back to my second video ever. Um, today's video is weighing myself while drinking sangria. Basically, today I'm going to sip some sangria. This is my second glass, by the way. And I'm going to talk to you about how much weight I've gained over the years and what I'm going to do in the near, near future. Well, that's why you're gaining weight, my buddy, right there. Um, but I just felt like I needed it because this is the first time I'm going to step in the scale on it since I've weighed a lot less than I did. Just kind of been really scared. I'm sure y'all can relate about um, the scale. We're going to do it live. <laughs> Raw uncut reaction a pinky up we're gonna look at my bodies through the years we're gonna look at my body now and we're going to talk about a plan moving forward i just want to prelude this and say that the reason i've gained weight is because i've become more comfortable with living in the body i have i used to hate the way i looked i used to cry when i looked in the mirror i used to you know, be really depressed about how I looked. I'm all about body positivity. I'm all about loving yourself in the body that you have, no matter what weight you are. But I'm also about healthy living. I mean, like, I feel like you should work towards a goal where you're eating healthy foods that are good for you, that you're fueling your body instead of just binging on everything, because that's me, <laughs> I binge. Hey, it's Melody. I know. I'm filming. I'm filming a YouTube video. You're, you're in. No, on my weight journey. Remember, um, you're in my YouTube video right now. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm Melody's YouTube channel. Okay. Um, my question to you is, do you know what my favorite food is? No. Spaghetti. <laughs> no, it's not spaghetti. Hi. Hi. Um, you're in my YouTube video right now. Um, I just want to ask you a question. Okay. What's my favorite food? Avocados. <laughs> Avocados. Oh, sorry. Is that Tyler? Yeah, Tyler's in the background. Tell, put the phone. Put Tyler on the phone. Yeah, I'll bounce it. Hi, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Tyler, what's my favorite food? Pizza. Yeah. Okay, what's my favorite food? Uh, pizza. Yes. Okay, thanks, Jacob. Love you. Yeah. Hey, Abby, it's Melody. Hey, um, I'm filming a YouTube video right now, and I just had a question for you. Okay. What's my favorite food? Pizza. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> People that know me well know my favorite uh, food is pizza. So basically, binging on pizza, binging on cookies, binging on ice cream, all my favorite stuff, burgers, I basically kind of just let myself go um, because I've just kind of been comfortable being me and my body that I have. I have a passion for fitness. I have a passion for nutrition. I always have. If you watched my last video, you would have learned that I was in a job that I was very depressed in. Um, it was just a lot of wear and tear on me. So I basically took that out on food. I've gone through ups and downs with my relationship with food. I've always had a bad relationship with food, but most recently it's been good. Um, but during my bad relationship with food, I've gone through cycles. I've binged and then purged. So if you don't know what that means, I threw up my food. Most recently, I've been counting my macros, my fats, proteins, and carbs. Um, and then I did really good with that. I got down to a weight I was happy with um, and I was still going. And then I went on vacation and then it screwed all up again. And then I went back to my habits of eating. Um, I'm just kind of really addicted to sugar. Um, 
I haven't done complete research, but I've heard it been said that your addiction to sugar is like a drug addict's addiction to their drug of choice. I don't know how true it is, so please, if I offended anybody saying that, I'm sorry. It's just what I've heard. Dude, I love to eat. I am not one of those people that ever is to skip a meal or dessert, even if I'm full. The first step for me was being able to be comfortable with who I am, loving myself at whatever weight I was. So when I do work out, it's not to be skinny, it's not because of a bad relationship with food, it's just because I just desire to be a better version of me every day. Um, you and me are going to go through time and then see the different phases of when I was different weights. 2010, um, that's the first year I graduated from high school. I was 17 and I turned 18 that summer. And my mom said I was the best kid. She never had a problem with me until I turned 18. Um, I just pretty much stayed home, played sports, was really involved in school. Um, so when I graduated, I didn't end up going to college. Yeah, my dad died when I was 16, so that put a big pressure on me and my family. It wasn't until 18 where I kind of just like rebelled and I just drank and partied all the time. Um, 18, I got pregnant. I had a daughter at 19. Her name is Cheyenne. She's so beautiful. I gained all that pregnancy weight. 2010 pictures here. I'll show you a picture of what I looked like in 2010. There might be one or two pictures, but I'll put them right here. Uh, 2011, um, I was pregnant. <laughs> so I was also gaining weight during that time. These were my party years, 2011. So I was partying all the time, um, probably too much. So 2012, I have Cheyenne. Um, everything's going great. Um, me and Cheyenne's father were working it out. We were still together at that point. Um, I was loving being a new mom, but also not loving the baby weight. Did a lot of cardio and I restricted my calorie intake by a lot. So I lost a lot of weight really fast. And I'm gonna put a picture of here, what I looked like in 2012 when I had Cheyenne. Now 2013, I was still losing weight. Um, I was looking really good. It was the skinniest I've ever been in my life. In 2014, I gained a little bit of that weight back. I moved to be with my mom. Um, so I was doing a lot of running and um, again, restrictive dieting. Um, so I'll put a picture of here what I looked like in 2014. Now 2015 is another year that I was drinking and I was partying too much and I was just not living the way I should be. So picture here of 2015. I went out all the time drinking, put the weight on. 2016, just two years again, I met my boyfriend. There was still a lot of partying. Last year, 2017 gained all the weight back. I was doing good for the first half of the year. Second half of the year, gained a lot of the weight back. Um, basically the same cycle. I work out really hard and then I stop and then I gain all the weight back and I work out and then I gain all the weight back. I'm part of the CrossFit cult. <laughs> uh, I love doing CrossFit. I'm not like one of the athletes whatsoever. I just think it's a workout that's really intense and short and it kind of inspires me to compete against myself. It just kind of makes me feel like a badass, honestly. <laughs> It's just been like still me just eating whatever I want. Literally, if I am see it and I want it, I'll eat it. I'll eat ice cream, cookies, anything we have in the pantry, I'll eat till I'm full, pass when I'm full, dessert, cookies, everything. Um, so there's been phases like weeks at a time where I'll like eat really clean and then I'll waste it all away the next week. Let me touch base on body positivity again. I just recently been just really comfortable with who I am, what I look like, whether I'm wearing makeup, whether I'm not wearing makeup. Um, I'm still a little bit self-conscious when I wear certain clothes. I don't think I look great in them, but for the most part, I'm really happy uh, with me, who I am on the inside, and that makes me comfortable with who I am on the outside. Like I said, I still am in due for some major changes. I'm really excited about that, especially now, especially now that I have a six-year-old girl. I just wanted to show her that you can be comfortable with who you are, no matter what you look like. I just want her to see me as a good example about body positivity. My goals for this whole transformation of course, I want to lose a couple pounds. I want to feel like I have more energy. Um, I want to lose inches on my stomach, my hips, and my back, and my thut. I don't know if you guys know what a thut is, but it's the area where your thigh meets your butt. I just want it to be a little bit more shaped and defined. So this is the part where I'm just going to show you kind of what I look like. And we're going to step on a scale together. And then I'm going to cry on your shoulder. So let's do it. really excited where this journey goes. How am I really all been waiting for? 
I'm gonna step on the scale. You're gonna do it with me. You guys ready? Whoa. Let's do this. 195.5. In all reality, that's the most I've ever weighed, and I kind of knew that number was coming. Um, the lowest I've ever weighed, I got down when I was cutting my calories and doing all cardio the first time I ever did it. I got down to 138, I think. Um, but my goal weight is to be comfortably between 150 and 160, 170, somewhere between there, just as long as I'm healthy and I'm eating good and I'm working out good. So there you go. There's your journey with me. <laughs> this is where you guys can keep me accountable. We're going to do every so often, we're going to do an update where I'm at, what I'm doing. I'm going to take you guys to the gym with me. It's going to be really fun. Thanks for being there while I stepped on the scale because it was really scary. I know I'm comfortable with who I am, but still seeing that number, it kind of brings some fear to me. Um, especially being close to 200. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching my video. I'll post videos every Wednesday, so stay tuned. Um, we're gonna do some thrifting, we're gonna do some fitness and just have fun together. So I'm really glad you guys are being able to share this journey with me and I'm really thankful for all of you. Um, so have a good day, y'all. Bye.